When I was in high school, I started to visit a, a friend of my dad's who had a farm in West Virginia. That guy wound up farming in New York State. And so my first year of college, between my first and second years of college, I spent uh, part of the summer working out there on a, on a farm that was essentially a beef operation, but had a lot of kind of quirks to it. And uh, uh, we were raising a bunch of dairy heifers for people, uh, selling a lot of silage and haylage, and, uh, and it, was, it was a very interesting experience. It started the Michigan State Police in the Jonesville Post as a very agricultural post. So I patrolled all these areas, whether it be a farm lane or whether it be a county road. And that's my first real exposure to the uh, rural agricultural area of the state of Michigan. And having just the connections with the farmers, understanding agribusiness, uh, understanding all the dynamics that go along with uh, the Right to Farm Act and any other associated issues that go with farming, uh, whether it be a property line, acquiescence uh, style thing of dispute, uh, or even you know, the typical agricultural things that we enjoy is the fact that you get to drive by it and you get to see uh, the, the crops growing. My experience serving a rural district in the legislature, it certainly has helped me to understand at kind of the macro level what farming is like. Uh, I think that that is helpful because anytime you can sort of add experience to your, you know, to, to your history in a way that will help you understand the impact of, you know, a, a given piece of policy or legislation or whatever, uh, I think it, it makes you better at your job regardless of what it is. You want continuity, uh, you want impartial, fair decision making, but most of all you want to be able to understand that the law is always going to be applied as written and that you're going to have a rule of law judge that you're not going to get a different ruling based upon the whim or the personal belief of a judge. If you're looking for a judge who's going to apply the rule of law fairly and irrespective of who you are, who your friends are, every citizen is entitled to the same due process, you've got to get past the partisan section of the ballot and vote the nonpartisan section of the ballot. It's beneath even your local partisan offices, so you know if you finish voting at your township offices, you've got to keep going uh, to get to that nonpartisan section, and it's obviously an important part of the state government, and we want everybody's support.